Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe hour. We are jumping in again. We're actually on a pretty good win streak right now, I will admit. We're doing pretty damn well. Uh, what are we going to do this time around? I still want to do some Jacob and Ezel stuff, but I, I like really suck as them. So let's... Who's someone we haven't played as in a while? <laughs> we haven't played as regular Samson or Eve in a while. Let's give... Let's give Eve a go and try and do uh, maybe Light Path. I, I, at the minute, I'm just on the run to try and um, to try and get uh, the Lost unlocked. I really want to try and do some Lost stuff because I think that could be a lot of fun. And I think you guys want to see me suffer, as always. Um, so it could be fun to try and get him unlocked. But unfortunately, with mo in modding, it makes it a lot harder because the missing poster is a trinket. And there's plenty of other trinkets to find, which means that, yeah, unfortunately, it's a little bit rare. Um, so we just kind of have to deal with it. We do start with a razor blade here. I'm not going to use it yet because I'm going to look for a, a potential curse room to instead use our red heart on, if that is at all possible. Um, we have a sacrifice room, which isn't quite the same thing. Um, oh, that was not what I was expecting for some reason. I kind of didn't internalize what this enemy did for a hot minute there, and it... Uh, Kind of crapped me up a little bit. It's fine though. We're, we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. I have lost that health now, but eh, this room, this sacrifice room here, I'll have a red heart in it. T t enemies that like like circle around you. Who 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 designed those? <laughs> don't don't do that to me. I don't like that. It's not very fun. Anyways, as for the question of the day today, I just. Went out on a nice walk. Actually, I went out for a run, a 5k run, and then went out on a walk and had my, my lunch. I made, I made my lunch at home and then took it outside with me, and I had a nice cream cheese uh, and ham bagel. It was very, very nice. Uh, secretion here is pretty darn good early on. Um, what is your sort of thing that you can do? Also, we look amazing now. We look so cute. Uh, what is your, like, nice thing that you do to relax? What's something that you do to clear your head a little bit? Um... Got some spicy keys here. I'll take the spicy keys. Did these spikes go down at all? I don't know if they did, but I'm going to take that anyways. Um, yeah, because that really just... The, the run was really, really nice, but also, yeah, just the um, ability to go out and have my lunch out in some nice warm weather, which we're finally getting, was was really just thoroughly enjoyable um, and, and helped a lot. Do you know Secretion? It actually charges so fast for how, like, how good it is, because it's... It's creep, it's extra shots, and yeah, it recharges really fast, so it's it's a very, very good early game item, I've got to say. Very, very good. Obviously, the creep's damage is pretty darn low, um, but the shots do a pretty good amount. It's kind of like a monstrous lung type deal. Um, it's pretty good. It definitely supplements the, the damage that we're missing by playing Eve here. Um, kind of just leaving these guys to kill themselves, which is... Worked out pretty well for us, apparently. They all they all decided that suicide was the better option for them, which, uh, for, for these enemies, I, I do not disagree. I do I, I will not disagree with that fact. Okay. You're going to be a problem for me, so I'm just going to set up a few secretions. I, I have to say, one thing that I don't like is just the word secretion is just not, not very nice. <laughs> it just doesn't conjure up very love very like nice images so secretion bit of an off one we'll have to accept it not quite sure what this bomb guy's doing he seems to be uh, completely in his own world which is a bit weird but oh well sadly we did not get a cash room this time around so no, no natural way to lose our health but considering we've got secretion now I'm not gonna lower my HP because I think we're going to get the Meltdown boss. You know what? I'll do this room again. I think we're going to be getting the Meltdown boss and I'm going to hate my life because of it. And if I've only got one heart for that, I could actually die on it. And we actually have a half-decent streak going on right now, so I'd really rather not die. Oh, hello. That's a rather nice get. What did I say? I knew it'd be this guy. Burning Basement, you get this guy so often. And... I'd be on half a heart right now. I'd be on half a heart right now. And it would be tragic.
Luckily, we can kill this guy reasonably quickly. I'm still not going to say, like, that I'm going to be safe and not get hit again here, because this guy is a real bastard, man. Do not like him. There you go. We got him. Unfortunately, we're going to get the bloody corn now. Um, which I'm not a big fan of. But we do get a, a, a proc on our thingy now, our, our razor blade, uh, horror Babylon stuff. So that's good. We get the extra speed and the extra damage. Um, and yeah, I'll go. I'll go down this way for now. Let's just let's just see what we end up finding down this way. See if there's anything good going on. Got myself a nice Pepsi as well. Ooh, we get a uh, XL floor. Rather intriguing indeed. I don't think Secretion is based on our damage at all, so I don't think we're going to get anything extra out of it because of that. So, uh, so Horror Babylon won't matter there, but that's fine. Now, I'm pretty sure Razor Blade exclusively does red heart damage, right? So I might be able to pick the red heart up that's in this room and use it to uh, get into my curse room. Um, although, that actually, it requires a bomb, so maybe not. Okay. Pop in here real quick. Wicked Soul, damage multiplier, a bonus curse will be added to every floor, but we get a bunch of stuff, which I'm very happy about. Them stats are pretty impressive. Unfortunately, no fire rate bonus, which is a little bit of a bummer. But I think this uh, this very much lends itself to the, the wicked nature of our character here. Um, unfortunately, I did gain myself the curse where I don't, no longer know my HP, so I'm not going to take that as of now. Let's just go, go and do our boss straight up. So I'd like to uh, get a devil deal here. Now, the question is, do I want to take a gamble on doing these bosses again on the labyrinth floor to gain um, extra items? Because on an XL floor, it's very worthwhile, but I don't have the Holy Mantle, so it's a little bit scary. Um, but I'm certainly the sort of person that would take that risk. It just depends. Is that a bit too much of a risk? I mean, look, look at this. Secretion's just absolutely killing it right now. What a fantastic item to get early on. Um, we do get Mr. Dolly here, which is fantastic for us. Um, oh, and it gives us everything we need to take our devil deals as well. Um, I think I just take Judas' Shadow here, even though I don't need it. It puts us in a good position to have no red health. Um, and that does mean that Cash Room's a little more out of the question. Razor Blade is a little more useless, but it means that now I don't have to feel so bad about taking another active. Um, and also, it means that... Um, I don't know how this works with her. I'm just going to take it. I think I think it keeps me in Horror Babylon. It does. Good. Um, also, yeah, it just means we can take another active when we want. I like that. I think we're pretty much good to escape this floor. Unless, like I said, I want to do that. But honestly, the extra items, while good, I don't think it's a great idea. Because um, without bombs, I'm just not going to be able to reliably kill those bosses without getting hit. I, I know I didn't get hit by them this time around, but you just know that some BS is going to hit me when I will die in one hit on a run that's pretty good right now. Um, Eternal D10, you can go away from me. You always show up on runs, and I don't want you. The Might of the... Oh, baby. Blessing of Purity. I mean, slightly not conforming to the, uh, the slightly dark and cursed past that we have as Eve here, but... We'll accept it anyways. We'll accept it anyways. Let's uh, let's move on to the next floor. Uh, we don't have bombs, so we're just going to have to carry on down the regular path. And I was pretty happy with that departure there onto the uh, onto the alt path. I think going to that floor is often worthwhile, and this time it proved to be so. Do you know, Secretion might actually scale with damage, it, really, and now I get all the bombs. Because um, it seems to be killing things real fast right now, so it might scale with damage. I can't be sure for certain, but it, it, it certainly feels that way. This is a gamble here, I realise, but I'm hoping I get at least one key back here. We got two back. Good, good. Um, do we have anything? We do have a bit of damage here. Nice. Good, good. We'll take that for a little bit more damage up. I suppose I could go into my cash room here. I'll be losing is the, the health from within the burn heart, which isn't particularly bad. Um... Unfortunately, we have a crimson chest here, but nothing to open it with, which is a shame. Still don't know why I don't have the, the tainted rocks unlocked. I should do, to be honest. Let me, let me actually check my, my settings, because I did unlock them, and they seem to be relocked again. I can check my settings to see if that's the case. I think, I think the Dead Sea Scrolls menu... I did lose the burn heart fully there, unfortunately. So 
Okay, though everything's dead. And a very good trinket indeed. I will take that instead. Um, yeah, is it L? No. C? C, that's the one. Um, we want to be looking at... Repentance Plus. Unlocks. And Special Unlocks. Black chests are... Locked, so unlocked, scout chest unlocked, coffins unlocked. Tainted rocks are unlocked, okay. I just haven't seen them in a really long time, so weird. Interesting. I just haven't, yeah, just haven't seen them in a really long time. That's unfortunate. Maybe they're just much rarer now than they used to be. They used to be pretty common. Yeah, they, they should be rare to be fair, but it is slightly unfortunate I haven't seen one in a really long time. But that's just kind of the way it is. Right, crack a few of these boys open. Good, good, good. Oh my god, I did not realise that guy was going to do that. Little corn nugget. Who's left? Oh, there's like a dip. Just chilling out on his little lonesome. I did not see you escaping from me there. Of these guys. This is such a fun little build we've got going here. But yeah, definitely excited to uh, to get out a little more now that the weather's a little bit better in the UK here. It's often terrible and for months has been terrible. And I, I miss summer. I miss being able to do things and go places. Um, so I'm, 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 I'm happy that it's a little bit nicer now. Um, gonna have a, a nice curry night tomorrow though, which luckily does not require the weather to be any better. Um, just going to invite a few friends around and make an exceedingly hot curry. Um, the last time, my, my friend is, uh, is, he bought this like, um, this packet thing. Basically, he, he, he like subscribed to like, do, do you know those things you can get, the subscription models where it's like, oh, we'll send you um, a case of coffee once a month and you can try different things. It's kind of one of them, but for curry. Um, and um, this one, like one of them was like, the world's hottest curry. Uh, oh, okay. Um, it was like, this one is the world's hottest curry, and you're like, okay, bullshit. <laughs> um, I'll take larger CSIs, why not? Um, yeah, I'm like, okay, that's bullshit, but we'll give it a go. And so, me and my friend, as I mentioned before, we're really into spicy food. Absolutely love exceedingly hot food. So we're like, it's a four-person packet. But it's not going to be that hot. Let's, um, that was a pretty cheeky one you got me on me there. Um, well, like, let's just put the full packet mix in. Because we were making it for four people, but we, we realised that only two of us, me and him, would eat it. My girlfriend and our other friend uh, probably weren't as into the heat as we were. Um, and so, yeah, I was just like, yeah, whatever. Just, just stick the full four-person mix in. We'll, we'll have it. And uh, we had it. And it legitimately was the hottest thing. I have ever eaten in my entire life. <laughs> it was insane. We also added extra chilies. Definitely, in hindsight, not the greatest of ideas. Um, definitely not our smartest move, but it was it was truly delightful um, in how hot it was. <laughs> I really enjoyed it, even though it was uh, obscenely hot. I did not mind that one bit. Crack that open. Did you get some of these? Hold the drop button to use. Opens most doors and chests, nullifying the price for opening them. Hold the drop button to use. Um. By the way, this is definitely... Secretion definitely does use your tier effects, because look how large our secretion tiers are. Um. Yeah, and he's got another one of those spice mixes, and we're gonna... He's gonna bring it around tomorrow, I, I think, and we're gonna have that, and it's gonna be... Incredible, and also I'm gonna make uh, my own naan breads because I made them last time. We, last time we had curry, and honestly, they were fantastic. They were truly amazing. Are you dead or what, what's going on here? You have no health left. I'm not sure this is an attack that you normally do or something that you do when you die. But I'd like you to stop. Interesting. That's some tier size down, which is kind of interesting. We do have a heart here. Sadly, no ability to trade it away, though. You can't just sit on top of the metal block, dude. A little bit rude. Lumber coal's lovely here. Thanka, thanka. 
good range as well, so it pairs quite well. And we go down. <sighs> Lovely. Lovely. Yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty excited about the uh, the curry night. It's going to be fun. And like I said, it doesn't require the weather to be nice, which is, is good. Because the weather is nice today, but I guarantee over the course of the week, it'll get drastically, drastically worse. <laughs> it won't stay nice forever, unfortunately. That's The UK ain't that kind. We get like a little glimpse into the future. It's like, here's a little teaser of what's to come. And it'll give us a little inkling, a little hint of the weather to come. And then it'll fuck off for like three months and it'll be like, ha! You don't get to see the sun for so long. And the sun does come and it's here for about two weeks and it's too hot and everyone hates it. <laughs> but no, I'm really, really looking forward to it. Like, last summer I, um, I, I don't know if I mentioned it on, on, um, on my YouTube much. I should be using my key thing, shouldn't I? Um, yeah. I don't know if I mentioned it on my YouTube much, and I definitely brought it up at least once, but last summer, I kind of went through a bout of having, like, pretty bad anxiety for the first time in my life. I'd never really had anxiety before, um, and it's definitely gone now, like, pretty much entirely. I, I, I'm, I'm pretty much fine now. I, I said pretty much, I am fine now. I think it's, I think it's gone pretty much completely. Um, uh, and so, like, last summer, I, I although I, I still thoroughly enjoyed the weather, I didn't really get to enjoy it as much as I normally would have, because, like, I was having issues with that. Um, and this time I don't have to deal with that, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to the summer again, because now I can sort of enjoy the summer a little bit more. But yes, I had some uh, experiences that brought on um, a pretty large bout of anxiety for about four or five months, maybe a little longer, maybe about six months. Um, and they slowly, slowly faded over time. Um, but now I'm, I'm feeling a lot better. I still I still get it like here and there, like little splodges of it, but nothing like it was before. But also on the on the one half, obviously it wasn't enjoyable. I didn't enjoy having anxiety at all. But I'd never been someone that had ever suffered with it before, and so it was very very hard for me to relate when people would speak about it. Um, and it was very very hard for me to sort of understand what they were going through. And I'm sure I've like. I, what, what I felt like it was pretty bad. I'm sure mine was nowhere near as bad as what some other people, maybe some of you that are watching, have it. I'm sure. Um, that's a one cent cost. I've got to see what this is. Uh, um, yeah, so, like, I, I'm sure a lot of you have it worse, but if it, I think everyone has their own version of what is bad for them, right? Something that might be comparatively very mild compared to someone else's for you, um, for them, sorry, might be really bad for you. You can't really sort of weigh it that way. You can't weigh it against other people's feelings, but anyways, um, and and and, and so it, it just it gave me it gave me uh, some much needed perspective on it all. So it's like, it, like while I'm not saying I enjoyed it, I'm kind of glad for it in a way, because yeah, really, can you stop creating fucking ah stop creating spiked rocks underneath my item? Fuck you, are oh, you bitch? Fuck you. This spiked rock just kept regenerating. Go away. It's evil. Um, yeah, it gave me a lot of sort of perspective on it all and some more like familiarity with what some people are going through when they talk about it. Because yeah, I just had like absolutely no idea. Um, and it sucks. <laughs> it sucks pretty hard. Your just chest feels tight and you feel uncomfortable like all the time. Dude, this boss is such a pain in my ass. Stop. Um... Hey, extra damage. I can't believe that damage is currently my lowest stat. Well, wow. very rare that that happens. Ah, <sighs> cause yeah, I have a I have a lot of close friends that really like suffer with really bad anxiety, and it was just super hard for me to sort of understand what they were talking about, <laughs> cause I've never really experienced it, which I'm very very lucky of. I mean, I'd say that the vast majority of humans experience some sort of, um, like, well, I say experience some sort of anxiety, I don't mean it that way, because everyone on in every aspect of their life experiences some sort of anxiety, that's, because anxiety is a feeling, not just a disorder. Um, wow, we got fucking lucky with this. Um, 
But um, more so what I mean is like, someone's gonna ha like have anxiety at some point in their life, it just kind of happens. Um, and I'd, I'd been pretty lucky to have not had uh, any. And it was, yeah, it was interesting to um, experience. Like I said, not that I enjoyed it, but <laughs> now that it's over, now that it's pretty much gone away, I can sort of like see the see the positive side of it, so to say. Because I am, I'm, I'm definitely someone that um, that I, I very much like to um, be there for people to like rant to, or like just like get stuff off their chest to. Like I have quite a few friends um, that that do have. Um, social or mental issues that, that cause them problems in day-to-day -day life and I'm more than willing to be the person that they talk to about that but obviously it's hard for me to sort of give advice or say anything that sort of has any sort of quantifiable meaning to them in terms of fixing the situation if I hadn't experienced it so it's kind of while I'm, I'm, I'm never gonna actually feel what other people feel I mean no one does it's better to have had that experience to be able to talk to my friends a little more frankly about it sort of thing. By the way, this run has gotten pretty damn good. I'm liking it. I I'm very glad I took the tier size up. Pretty fun. Ah, oh, bugger. Okay. I really like this soybean uh, item I just got that like does fart bullets and uh, leaves the linger bean effects and stuff. Pretty nice. Pretty darn useful. So much money. Oh, baby. That's some good stuff right there. That's some good stuff, although these tiers are going to get very large. Very large indeed. Some other time. But Explosivo with Secretion seems like a, a great combo. Um, we have done Boss Rush, but I could certainly see myself doing it again if the items are worthwhile. We are very much in time for it, so... Um, we said we were going to do Light Path, I think? Yeah. Right, I think we probably would want, just want to take Empty Vessel here, but I've got to weigh up the other options. Black Hearts trigger the on-depletion effects when only partially depleted. Yeah, we'll definitely take uh, this here. Empty Vessel is the best. And let's see what we've got going on here. Tech 2? We've got pretty good fire rate. I think Tech 2 fits into this reasonably well. I, just, I think Tech 2 works with Explosivo as well, right? Yeah, it does. It does. Nice. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good grab, I think. All in all, also as well, let's uh, let's let's just bomb this and get uh, all that stuff in the middle taken care of, so we can hit both the bosses. Yeah. Honestly, with Explosivo, this was a great idea. Gonna be stacking up Explosivo. It's like nobody's business. Dealing damage like a bad bitch. Look at that. Look at that damage. It's beautiful. One second. We are all good. Let's continue on. Wow, yeah. The damage output here is is vast. You can see, like, the little explosivo shots are the ones planted by the laser, and the big ones are the ones planted by my tears. Now, the only thing is there's a lot of enemies here that kind of jump and move around a lot. So we're not hitting them as often. But even just the damage itself with Lump of Coal, like to the enemy that spawns at the other side, is pretty impressive. It's a shame Explosivo isn't really getting a chance to proc very often. This guy's going to get Explosivo to shit, though. Absolutely nuked. Same with you, my good guy. Good old Gish on the chase. Make sure we don't explode ourselves. Oh, God. That was close. 
But yeah, this is going to be easy. Glad I took tech two here. Very worthwhile. Stop jumping off my explosives, you fools. There you go. Stay still. Good, 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 good. Look at that. Look at Buck. Getting absolutely wrecked. Got no chance. And we're fighting everything away as well. It's beautiful. Oh, shit. Didn't realize where you were for a hot second, my good guy. Kind of snuck up on me there. Don't worry, though. You are, like many others, also very, very dead. I like it with a perfect lineup. Enemies just summoning. I'm not even using secretion anymore, but. Oh, wait. Just a minute. I think Secretion was firing some lasers then when I when I procced it. Hmm. Oh, Mask of Infamy. Hell yeah. Okay. Some good stuff here. I like it. Where's the door out here? Good stuff indeed. Okay. This, this run's got some sauce to it. Got some sauce to it. Cast the Lost Womb sounds horrendous. Accidentally revealed all these embryos. Embry bros, more like. Just cover everything in explosivo shots and then leave. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm fairly sure I didn't actually finish this room, unfortunately. When I said and then leave, I I, I did that without actually finishing the room. Golden bombs? Hello. I will most certainly take those on board and be happy about it. Okay. Bunch of yelling fellas. I don't even know if I can get hit by those, but felt like I was going to there. Ooh, extra soul heart. Wouldn't mind. Wouldn't mind. Have we done hush? I'm pretty sure we've done hush as well. We have done hush as well. We did we did a straight shot to Delirium last time we played as her by the looks of things. Good, good. Very bad move on my behalf there, but it somewhat worked out. I think we're going the right way now. You never really know on a on a case of the lost wound, but I've gotta make the assumption. Damn, Explosivo is such a good item. Remember when it used to be, like, kind of dog shit? Because the, uh, the shot that landed that sticks the explosive dealt no damage. And so, like, 50% of your shots just dealt no damage until they exploded. Made it so much worse of an item. It was still good in, con like, in certain contexts, but, like, most of the time it was a, it was a pretty bad grab. Ding, ding, ding. Thank you. Um, but da, 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 da. Spirit of the Night. Yeah, I'll take that. Why not? Okay. We are good to go once again. Very quick flaw there. Considering we had no map, I'm pretty happy to say that I uh, kind of aced that. Now, these guys are a big old sack of shit. Luckily, they're also in a room that's the wrong way. Heck. And this is the wrong way as well. Wow. Good track record thus far. What's going on with my damage right now? Oh, is it Bell Clapper? It's the damage bonus we got from the boss item. Oh, wait, what? No, maybe not. It went up then. I have no idea what's happening with my damage right now. Literally zero idea. Maybe it is Bell Clapper? Maybe I just didn't read it correctly. I thought Bell Clapper was the one where it gave you a damage up that reduced by 0.6 every floor. Does it not do that? Or did it get changed, maybe? Potentially. All the Explosivo shots up to those guys is great. Oops. I did it again. I went the wrong way. Oh, baby, baby. I did it again. 
Calm down, you good old piss kidneys. Oh my god. Fill that area up with explosives and walk away. Sadly, the wrong way yet again. And Curse of the Maze made me skip a few rooms over here as well. So not only did we go the wrong way, but I, I kind of went the wrong way thinking I was going the right way because it skipped ever so many rooms. Evil game. So hot back there. I should have grabbed. Not really using secretion anymore, but that sort of... That's fine. I feel like secretion's one of those items that it kind of... It carries you through the early game until you no longer need it anymore. And then you can kind of stop using it as much. It's not like it's bad now. It probably is worth popping every now and again. But it's just like I just don't need it anymore. So I don't feel the need to focus on it. Whereas in the early game, it's like super useful to focus on and get that extra damage out of. Now we don't need to do hush here, but we certainly could. Um, ooh, we got some good stuff here. I'm going to take that. And that. And do you know what? We got low HP here, but I'm going to take a gamble and go for Hush. I don't think that's too bad of an idea. Why the hell not? So if I if I hold the drop button... How exactly do I do this? Hold the drop button and then... Okay, there you go. It did, it did work that time. Okay, nice. I actually use one of my paper thingies. Unfortunately, we don't get uh, the visibility of our items here, which is real sucky. So we're just going to gamble. Dude, the Eternal D10, can it actually just go the fuck away? Every single run, it shows up like eight times. I don't want you. <laughs> Bugger off. Double my number of bombs is pretty, pretty hot here. I guess I'll buy whatever this is. Ah, that's actually pretty good. And then we'll donate the rest. In fact, we'll bomb you as well. Honestly, yeah, Bob's, Bob's Curse with all these bombs. Pretty good stuff. Let's save five cent for um, a card. Unfortunately, the moon card. I don't think there's anything for us here. Sadly not. Do I go for a crawl space? I mean, with this many bombs, I might as well. I mean, that was very lucky. <laughs> got it on the first bomb. And then what we got going on here? Hey, that's really good. Very happy with that. Okay, we do have a Suicide King here. If our health gets really low, we could respawn as Judas. I think Explosivo and everything is going to absolutely annihilate this guy. Like, look how many tear effects are just, like, plaguing this man's life. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, visual, isn't it? <clears throat> we got the um, the black holes mixed with the explosivo going off. There's some little needle dart things popping off of him. I think that's um, I think that's my baby. He's got euphoria. What? what? No, no, no. Euthanasia. Euphoria. Very different items. Um, euthanasia mixed with um, tiny planet by the looks of it, maybe. Oh my god, look at all those Linga Beans. Step into my Linga Bean web. But yeah, this guy, like, can't even touch me. Doing pretty well. I'm trying to use Secretion as much as possible here because this time it's like, I don't have to focus on not getting hit. I might as well. Pretty beautiful stuff. The Linga Bean's sticking around the whole room. He seems to be lasting a long while. Oh no, it disappeared like the moment I said that. Already below half HP here. Yeah. The rotten tomato effects on him as well. Damn it, stop ducking underground and dodging the explosions. Beautiful. Just take care of all of these real quick. All them linger beans. Linger beans actually do a decent amount of damage. It's just. The, the, the actual item itself is so bad because it leaves them so rarely. If it left them in clumps like that with tons of the little clouds, it'd actually be a pretty good item because they do decent amounts of damage. It's just normally there's only ever like one of them per room after everything's dead. It's normally pretty useless. What he's going to do is laser eyes or something, which just can actually hurt me.
We've just like completely devoid the room of any tears from this guy. There you go. That was a very, very easy hush kill. I mean, alarmingly so. I mean, we could take perfection here. I feel like it's not necessary, but also, like, why not? <laughs> why not? We're probably going to get hit and lose it fairly, fairly early. But the extra chance for all of our tier effects is just too sort of good to not try. Unfortunately, no mapping once again here, so a little bit of an issue on that behalf. Oh god, didn't realize those tears were there. Right, don't really know where I'm going here, so I'm just taking a gamble. Probably gonna get telefragged here. No, maybe not, maybe not. Unfortunately, Explosiva ain't gonna work on these guys, but look at all the... Fucking knew I was gonna get telefragged. I, I say telefragged. I realize that some of you in the comments, mainly you never named if you're watching, will be like, they didn't, you didn't get telefragged. You walked into him. It's like, I know. Shut up. <laughs> I'm just trying to put the blame on someone other than myself. That's what YouTubers do. They can never accept their own mistakes. When we do something wrong, we have to blame the game. We can't let the viewers know that we made a mistake. We can't. It's not in our blood. Right, this guy's going down like a clown. Ow. Your green buddy hit me in the butt. He dropped an item, is this what's going on here? He dropped an item. Never before seen. Unprecedented. Where the heck am I meant to be going now? Okay, we're lost in the sauce now. We are lost in the sauce. I don't know where we've been. I don't know where we're going. I'm very confused. But, I will say, the music, it bang, it bang hard. What the hell? Where haven't we been? I'm so confused right now. I just went back to the start, I thought, and there was nothing there. This way, maybe? Okay. I guess. Is that a black heart that just dropped there? It might well have been. Room's not over, apparently. It was a black pill. Ugh. How could you, game? Give me herp like that. Just douse it immediately. Bloody stupid thing. Shop's got to beat shop. Even boss got to be super close. And it is. We have lost quite a bit of health here, but I'm not particularly worried. Beautiful. You are dead now. Cynthia, you are dead. You are dead. Ooh, Eve's bird foot unlocked. Hell yes. Ah, we apparently breakfasted ourselves at some point. How? How? How could I have plausibly breakfasted myself? Somebody explain to me how that is even remotely plausible. Because it's not. Game done bugged. Dude. Y'all enemies gotta stop this nonsense. If these give me breakfast, I'm going to be mighty mad. I'm going to be mighty morphin. What happened? What happened here to cause this? I'm so confused. How could this could have possibly happened? 
not fair. I could have had so many items here. I could have been on top of the world. But everything's breakfast now. I'll come back to them if I need them, but I'd rather just keep my damage in my empty vessel for now. This is not a good room for us. Luckily, it was fine. Boom, bow. And take you out as well. Come on, boss, where are you? We kind of just need you to uh, end all this nonsense. Ow. Come on now. Nah. Where you at? Thank you. I'm glad I left the room and re-entered there. Of course we went the wrong way here. Who wouldn't? Do you know what? I might as well take at least one. Removes empty vessel, but we still have flight. And we still get to keep um, horror battle on going. Ow. My goodness. <laughs> There's so much going on right now. It's hard to keep track of everything. Okay, the black holes are uh, doing some business here. Keep them all sucked in together and nuke everything at once. That's the way we do it. Oh, dude! I can't... On the hush fight, I can't believe I forgot that I have um, Rocket in a Jar. Not a big fan of this room. Server now, luckily, and there was a soul heart in here for me too. Good, good. Yeah, could have been using Rocket in a jar that whole time. Beautiful. Just fire a bunch of rockets at him, why not? Not when it's going to hit me though, that was stupid. You have been bested, my good guy. <laughs> Keep him trapped there. There you go. Easy kill. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. A very good run indeed. And we unlock the Sacrificial Dagger. Pretty good. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.